Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Semux Code. And in today's lecture, we're going to talk about how to package our JavaFX application for deployment. Basically, there are a few options or a few ways on how to package your JavaFX applications. And this is one way of doing it. So let's just create a new project. File, a new JavaFX project. Okay, next. And let's just name it project project deployment. Okay, so we're just going to add some resources to this application. Let's create a new FXML document that will hold our layout. So this will be main layout.fxml. Okay. And then we will add this to our main.java. Instead of burger bean root, we will define a new root by using our fxml loader and getting the resources, which is our main layout.fxml. Main layout.fxml. So import the class parent and also the fxml loader class okay and again we will be defining our window size in our fxml file let's just remove this on the use import and open up our main layout.fxml with scene builder We'll set the size for our anchor pane. Instead, we will be using 600 by 400. Next, we will add few elements, which is a button. The second one will be the image view. So we will set an image to this image view and try to include that into our deployed or package uh, application or JavaFX application. So let's go back to our Eclipse. We will create a new package inside our application default package and this will be for our resources. Okay, just grab any image you like so for example in my case i have this image so i'll just remain uh rename this into something more readable so this will be image view image right after that one we'll go back to our scene builder and set the image to this by using the properties so inside our resources, click on open. So we now have the image view with our image coming from our resources folder. So if we try to preview this, okay, that looks good. And if we try to run our JavaFX application right here, we need to refresh first to reflect the changes and go ahead run our java application so we have the 600 by 400 window and of course our inserted image here we will use this project sample project to export or package for deployment We'll just close this window for now. The first thing that we're gonna need is to edit the build.fx build file. So let's just go ahead and open up this one. We need to fill out the information here. So vendor name, it would be uh, anything that you'd like. So for example, in my case, I want it to be samuxcode, samuxcode.com. Application title, this will be the title of your 
application so so for example I want it to be project deployment application version will be 1.0 after that we need to click on this generate and build that FXMO so would you like to proceed and select a GDK yes and of course we're going to select the GDK or our GDK for my case which is version 1.0 1.8.0 and click on OK. Wait for a few seconds. The next step is to verify that the new build folder and file build XML or build that FXML is created. So we have here the build folder and build that FXML file that is created. The next step is to add installer icons to our application. So inside this build folder, we're going to create another one inside here, which is package. Okay. And then we need to add two folders, which is for Windows. And the other one will be for Mac OS X. Okay. Mac OS X. So all the icons, all the images that you want to uh, add to our installer will be placed inside this folder. So if you want to make the images or if you want to use images for Windows, you're just going to paste the, the files here. And make sure that the name of the icons must reflect the application title that we have set in our build configuration so application title is project development copy and paste uh, let's just copy this one and rename our icon so this will be project development or deployment dash setup dash icon dot bmp and the other one will also reflect the application title that we have set then okay then another step is to add resources to this application installer it is because our resources folder isn't copied automatically so we must manually add it to the build directory and create a new folder here for our resources this will be this and copy our uh, image view image that we have used in our application new folder this will be resources finish and paste the image of our application if you have remember this is our image that we have used in our application the next step is to open up our build.fxml file and we will make few changes here so under the file list we need to add another line for our icons so this will be making our installer icons available in our installer so base dir and let's find another line which is the address we will add our resources folder instead of libs we will have the resources so that all the images that we're using in our application will be available also in our deployed application also we need to find another line okay project main class and we need to specify the version of this this will be 1.0 save our build.fxml file so at this point, we could already run the build.xml and generate the runnable jar file of the project. But 
we want to go a step further and create a nice installer. You can download this Uno you know, setup to create our application as a single .exe folder or Windows application installer. The resulting .exe will perform a user level installation, so no admin permissions required. It will also add a shortcut to our menu or desktop. So all you have to do is download this application and install. You need to set the path of your uh, Inno setup 5 into your environment variable. So you have to copy this line, the URL or the location of this installation. And in the system properties, you need to go to environment variables and you have to edit this path variable and specify the uh, URL or the location of the installation. And click on OK, OK, and OK. OK, so the next step will be to restart our Eclipse. We have restarted our Eclipse IDE, but I have realized something and I think we missed the packaging format for this. So in packaging format, let's make it .exe, save this file, and then generate build.xml only. Okay, and open up our build.fxml or xml and we need to retype all we have or what we have uh, added here earlier on so base dir and also the up sources we need to specify the resources folder and of course, the version it will be 1.0. Save build that XML and and refresh our project, and then build that XML run as and build. And then click on the run button. wait for a few seconds now the operation is done accordingly the installer.exe is saved to my project deployment folder so let's go ahead and check our new installer so inside our project deployment folder let's click on this build and inside the deploy directory we have all of the files for our project so we have the ex installer of our application so if you try to click on this one we will be installing our project so double click set up project uh, project de deployment 1.0 ready to install and then install Okay. So that's it. We have our application installed in our system. So I think that's all there is to it for this tutorial. Thanks.